Rotunda and South Gulf Cove are poised for growth, and with growth comes traffic. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Billings with CCTV News You Can Use. Gasparilla Road was once a two-lane road, and it is now a four-lane divided roadway. Here to tell us more about the project is Jeff Kaiser from Charlotte County Public Works. Thanks, Elizabeth. How Thanks are you today? Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So tell us about this project. Well, it's a $25 million project. Uh, it took us about two and a half years to construct it. Uh, they did a lot of uh, predetermined growth aspects, and, and uh, we, we realized that in about three years that the, the traffic was going to exceed the capacity of the original two-lane roadway. So at that point, the county commissioners made it a, you know, a, a decision to, to move the, the money from Placida Road to Gasparilla, which implemented this roadway to expand for all the growth, like you said, for uh, South Gulf Cove and Rotunda uh, area. Tell us a little bit more about the traffic count element of it. What the traffic department does is they analyze the amount of traffic the speed of the traffic, the volume of traffic, the size of the actual traffic to determine how much traffic that the infrastructure is receiving and impact to our system. Based on that analysis, that's what uh, we come up with to determine the growth and the infrastructure improvements. This project here, uh, we realized in, in three years that it was going to fail its capacity, uh, so that's why it implemented the project. Okay, for, for let's talk about some of the improvements that are made. It, it started off as a two-lane road. What ha, What is it now, and how how long is it? How many miles? The road's about two and a half mile uh, infrastructure improvement we did. We re, uh, rebuilt the intersection at Gasparilla Road in 776, was a joint effort with the FDO. We widened it for, uh, to four lanes, divided, all new street lights, sidewalks. We built a new bridge in the background here over the Butterford Waterway. We've got 12.3 miles of underground utility pipe in the ground that we've put out here. So we've got a whole huge utility upgrade to the system. We put over 18,000 tons of asphalt down on the project. We've got almost three miles of new fiber optic cable systems in the ground that will run over here to our local fire department. I don't know if residents realize when these projects are going on how complex it is. It's not just the road. It is all of those other uh, elements that are being put into the ground as well. Very, very true. And that's, that's unfortunate that, you know, we, we try to educate the public as much as we can. But what we always try to get out there is, is there's so much work that goes on that they don't see. Everything starts from, from underground and works its way up, you know, so we're, we're dealing with all the underground storm drain system, utility system, uh, all of our communication systems, everything's underground. Well, of course, everybody knows in Florida, since we're at sea level, underground means water. Uh, so we have a, a massive amount of dewatering efforts in order to get the water down so we can install any of the systems underground. Well, of course, now you've got wet material coming out. We've got to get dry material to put back in to get the proper compaction so we don't have failures on the surface when we come in to build the roadway. And how, what is the life expectancy for this roadway? Life expectancy on any roadway is forever. It's, uh, it's all part of preventative maintenance. Uh, typical roadways have usually about a 20 year cycle as far as preventative maintenance, which is your surface, your asphalt surface. Sidewalks, concrete bridges and stuff, they, they have an unrealistic amount of life. I mean, it's, it's never in our lifetime would we ever have to worry about that, as long as they're constructed properly. Is there anything else we should know about this project? I just want to thank everybody for their support. You know, we know it's uh, you know an impact to the public, uh, businesses, homeowners, so on and so forth. You know, the, the road was designed to be built under traffic, uh, which in turn takes a little bit longer time. So we just want to get out there. Thanks everybody for all your patience, uh, and we'll see you on the next project. All right, thank you for joining us. You can be rest assured that Charlotte County is planning for the future. You can go to charlottecountyfl.gov for a current list of projects. I'm Elizabeth Billings reporting for CCTV News You Can Use.